Latino and national referees Jamar Taliedo and Giamin Alap. Nakapuso. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. You guys are watching the NCAA Season 99 on GTV NCAA Philippines and GMA Sports PH. No reason for you to miss out on the action. It is a Sunday doubleheader for you guys. We begin with this clash between EAC and San Beda. EAC, I think three right now in the team standings. San Beda at six and two. It's a bucket right away from the rookie point guard of the Red Lions, Nigel Gonzalez. Magandang matchup agad yung uh, nakita natin sa dalawang kupan na ito, Martin. Uh, si Umpad and ito si Hopia. Yep. Talagang uh, parihong mga higante. <laughs> well, this is, you're right, a great matchup at the middle. But Nigel Gonzalez utilizing the screen to create some space and then knocking down the J right away. Six foot nine Clifford Hopia yeah, yes. versus the six foot eight Erlan Umpad. Got up at the center position right now. Kind of Chavo got hit in the face. All right, Ray. Dito sa laban natin. Tignan natin muna kung ano nangyari dito kay Kyle. A rookie versus a rookie here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Pagkasundot, medyo hindi, hindi naman, I think hindi naman sinadya. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, ang intention lang is sumundot. Kaya lang kasi uh, sumakto lang din na pasugot itong si Chabu na papasa na siya dun sa bola. Nagkakasalubong, ano? Kaya ganun yung nag-reaksyon niya ito ni Kyle Ochabu. Pero tinawagan ng uh, at four, at four mud light foul. Oh. Alright. So they upgraded it. Unsports right night here, foul here against number 12, Nigel Gonzalez, Nigel Gonzalez who got the start today, as mentioned earlier. I know Chavo to the free throw line. Two free throws plus possession. Unsportsman like foul again in our second possession of the game. <laughs> right? I think naman, uh, yan ang rules talaga na yeah. the moment na tamaan mo yung uh, uh, face yung mukha ng uh -huh. isang player, automatic talaga na upgrade nila yun. Okay. Habang ito yung free throw at nakukuha ngayon ng EAC ang possession, pakinggan muna natin ang report mula kay Farima Reyes. Farima, go ahead. The word relax isn't in the vocabulary of the Red Lions because at this point of the season, every game is crucial. Pero sa kabila ng pressure, nabanggit sa akin ni Yuki and Andrada na ang strength daw talaga nila ay ang kanilang depensa. Dahil very detailed daw talaga ang defensive game plans na ipinibigay sa kanila. Dagdag pa niyan na ibang klase rin ang pag-step up ng bench players nila at kahit sinong ipasok ng coaches, alam nilang tutulong. More than an array, this game is gonna be tough but as a Red Lions, are peaking at the right time. They are bringing the strength to make sure that today's victory will land in the Lions' den. Maraming salamat, Fatima. Well, this Sambeda team has been tried and tested in yes, Season correct. 99. A lot of close games, a lot of games that they had to come back, uh, come from behind to take wins. Nakita na lahat ng coach Yuri Escuete this season. And Nigel Gonzalez, his starting point guard today, starts off with five straight points for them. Ochavo couldn't answer in his five apiece. Earlier, it was Rock Robin draining the triple for EAC. Payosing, great matchup at the two between James Payosing and Rock Robin. More athletic, I don't see James Payosing, Rock Robin, more of a shooter. Hope ya, ito na yung laban natin. Hopia, double team. Extra pass, Gonzalez for three. Comes up short. Bit of a heat check for Nigel early on. EAC off and running. Not Cosejo finishes on the other end. Yan yung sinasabi ni Coach Yuri kanina sa interview, Martin, na talagang uh, mas pinipapaya niya ay uh, yung uh, run and gun itong EAC Generals. Kasi talagang ito yung din battle ng EAC. Eh. Ang takbo na takbo lang. EAC, takta rebound. Outlet pass again, oh, oh. leak out again sa kabila. Okay, speaking of the generals, here is a report now from EAC side. Nandito ngayon si Glycel Galdo. Glycel? We will fight till the buzzer sounds. Yan ang direktang hamon ng isa sa matatayog na general ng EAC na si King Gurfiza laban sa kabilang kubunan ang San Beda Red Lions because today the EAC generals are more than ready to clinch a back-to-back -back victory and end its 13-year drought of not winning against the Red Lions aside from sustaining composure to help the generals 
and the game strong coach Jerson Cabeltas reminds the team of communicating more on and off the court. Ika nga naman general, kailangan nilang maging maingay at dapat hindi sila tumigil sa pagsasalita because the Lions are armed with multiple strategic plays and players who can all contribute to their team. Yan muna mula sa panic ng mga general, balik sa inyo, Martin and Rick. Nice, so thank you so much. Nabanggit mo, kailangan nilang mag-ingay. Eh, mukhang uh, yung ingay nang gagaling sa kanilang sixth man, the crowd here inside the Philly Oil Echo Oil Center as we take a look at this transition play from Nat Cruzejo and then Ralph Robin. Same spot, same result. Maagang nagpainit itong si Ralph Robin sa outside shooting niya. So, delikado ito para sa Sanchez Rizal. Ito din ang isa sa mga strength ni Ralph Robin, yung outside shooting niya. Clifford Hopia. Nagawa ng paraan kontra Earl Umpad. It is 10 to 7. By the way, this is a battle of red and white. Ito na yung school colors natin featured today. Oh, Nat Cosejo. Bucket and beyond. EAC making some noise as Gleisel mentioned earlier. Ito muna yung rebound. Put back in iwas. Di hopya kay Umpad. Pagkatapos nga Nat Cosejo. Taking this one strong, putting it on the floor, making it to Yukien Andrada. Good anticipation for Nat Coseo, no? Kasi uh, that play supposed to be by hand hand up, dapat yun eh. Pero nakita niya, na dinay na yung kabila kay Inatake niya. Aside from, of course, the more organized basketball na nilalaro nitong EAC, buma na rin siguro ng sistema, Ray. Nagiging mas matalino na yes. sa decision-making yung mga players ni Coach Jersa. Oo, and uh, pagka, alam mo, Martin, pagka nasa tamang sistema ka, ang bilis, ang bilis, and ang, ang dali lang ng basketball sa'yo. That's right. Kumaganda na yung mga basa mo. Yes. Sa mga play. Yes. And, and eventually, yung laro mo nag-i-evolve. Eh. Yan. Dahil sa mga gandang sistema na ini-employ ng coach sa'yo. That's right. And Robin. Robin, step back three. Tapos. Payosing. Collects the rebound, not a good one. Oh, Chavo, though, couldn't finish. I don't know what I got with my guy because he was such a smooth one. And uh, you have to give credit to Kyle Chavo because he didn't lang sa yung floor general, but he did it. Sad, talaga ginagawa niya. And I'm good thing dito kay Kyle, ginahanap na yung teammate na open, even with his size and height. Five five lang ito si Kyle o Chavo. Eh, talaga nakukulitan sa kanya yung mga binabantayan niya. Right, let's check out this play. Clifford Hopia. Off the miss of Nigel Gonzalez. Hopia with a tip in. He's to be the tallest man on the floor. Hey. Yes, itong si Hopia talaga, Martin. Uh, masasabi ko na uh, nag-improve talaga ito si Hopia. And uh, tingin ko, factor na rin yung mga pre-season game nila na talaga uh, very important as a player na uh, kailangan yung pre-season yun, kailangan mong i- Ah, uh, kumbaga sulitin na practicein mo yung mga weaknesses mo. That's right. Before the Hopia, of course, dami na nang uh, pinagdaanan nito sa uh, kanyang collegiate mm -hmm. career. Team B member ng isang school sa either Morita or Dilemma before transferring to the Lions then. 13 to 10, Mr. Tani. Out there agad. Ito na. That time, Joseho needed to retreat. Pumasok na kanina para sa San Pedro, itong si Jomel Puno coming off two straight double-doubles. Robin pulls the trigger, and Robin is still red hot. Third triple in the first quarter for Ralph Robin, and that triggers a quick timeout for San Pedro. Matchup for today. Ito, James Payosing ultra athletic versus one of EAC's leading scorers. Ito, si King Gortiza, 13.9 points per game for King Gortiza. This is definitely career numbers for him. Ito, James Payosing, more of 
a utility player para dito kay Coach Yuri Escueta. Yes, more of a role player itong si uh, Payosing dito yeah. sa San Beda Red Lions. And dito naman si King Gurtiza, more on a primary option in terms of uh, offense ng uh, EAC Generals. Pero sa panimula ng ating laban, naglalagablab na mga kamay mula kay Ralph Robin. Three triples to open the game in the first four minutes of action for Robin. He has nine points across his name, three out of four from beyond the arc. Yan yung uh, mahirap pagka uh, yung shooter mo eh maagang nakuha yung rhythm niya sa labas. Mm. Yeah. So for the San Beda Red Lions, ko kay Coach Yuri, kailangan maglagay na siya ng isang uh, player dun na pinakamagaling na dumipensa para makontain itong uh, momentum ni Ralph Robin. Yeah. Kanina si Payosin yung nilagay niya. Tagli who just checked in. At palasa agad ng tao dun si Coach Yuri. Tagli from the corner. No. Puno rips out the rebound. And the second serving is there for Jonel Puno. Ito si Jonel Puno. Ito sa, isa sa mga talagang nag-step up uh, against yung kalaban nila last time na talagang uh, binigay na and uh, ginawa niya yung role niya kaya nangalo sila last game. Jonel Puno had 16 points and 11 rebounds against San Sebastian. Before that, against Perpetual, he had 12 points and I think 17 rebounds. So back-to-back double-doubles. Para kay Jomel Puno, and he starts off with his rebound and putback. Kakapasok lang yung kanikanina namang the Phil Canadian price recruit itong si Jomel Puno. Pausap ko si JV mo ako kanina, Martin. Yeah. Sabi ko sa kanya, mag-cover ako ng uh, team mo sa Beda. And sabi niya sa akin, pari tingnan mo itong si Jomel Puno. Talagang uh, isa yun sa promising player ng San Beda. And yun nga, maaga siya nagpakita rin sa game nito. And of course naman, talagang uh, hindi niya pinataya itong uh, mga teammates niya. And of course, yung mga coaching staff ng San Beda Red Lions. Narating si Jacob Cortez getting involved. Here in the first frame, Cortez had 10 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Against San Sebastian, not his usual scoring number, but he got there anyway. Oh, Erlan Umpad on the roll! Nakawala si Umpad off the pick and roll. And a foul given up by Clifford Hopia about this move. Jacob Cortez knocking down against Rob Robin. Had to adjust, didn't matter though. Still made the shot. That was here, Erlan Umpad. And this is something he can work on. Yes. Yung finishing around the rim. Ano? Correct, correct, Martin. Kasi sa height niya, meron na siyang advantage na mm. dun eh. And uh, kailangan niya pang i-work out yung uh, finishing, finishing touches niya. And for sure naman, marami siyang makukuhang ganyan. Kasi nga, si Long Sikpad kasi magaling din yung screen. And at ah. the same time, magaling din siyang rumol. Eh. Ah. At saka, Ray, pag ganyan kakatangkad, may kanalagyan ka sa professional leagues, in correct. the next level of basketball. Mm. So dapat ngayon pa lang, Eh, talagang tinatrabaho mo na. Oo. At ini-improve mo na yung iba't ibang areas ng laro mo. Yes, and itong uh, NCAA uh, ang perfect para kay Umpad na i-workout na yung dapat ka nang uh, uh, i-workout like yung kanyang skills, uh, yung outside shooting niya, and most, most especially yung kanyang uh, post-up move. Sama na natin yung free throw shooting. Correct. Kasi mintis siya doon. <laughs> Tagli! At paka wala, no go. Jomel Puno gets another board. Two offensive rebounds. Agad-agad para kay Jomel Puno. 16-14. Red Lions looking to equalize. Puno puts it on the floor. Puno puts it up and in. Jomel Puno. Instant impact off the bench. The moment na iangat ni Jomel Puno yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang tira. May hirap na rin po tayo. Then mahaba rin ito si Jomel. Eh. Ito, pahimik pa sa ating laban. Aguiliano misses and then is collected by Puno. So far, to leave on side of si Jumel Puno, no, talagang aggressive siya, both ends, offense and defense. Sandeta weathering the storm, and now they have a chance to take the lead. Although oh, Jacob turns it over. Gortiza, King Gortiza gets fouled. And he will shoot too. Ito, nagahanap yata ng kickball. Ito si Jacob Cortez. In the meantime, Look at the athleticism of this guy, Jomel Puno, getting a bunch of rebounds. Jomel Puno with four points, four rebounds in only two and a half minutes wow. of action. Kaya ganun siya kalakakabigat sa loob. Henry, it took him a while 
to get his confidence here in the NCAA. Mm-hmm. Kasi yes. nag-adjust siya sa collegiate game. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, marami na silang sinali ang pre-season tournaments. Mm-hmm. Pero pagdating talaga ng NCAA, your yes. main league, naging iba yung intensity. Mas physical yung mga manlalaro. At kitang-kita mo talaga yung mga players go hard all yes. game long. Agree ako dun, Martin. No? And, uh, isa pa doon, yung mas detalyado yung... Uh, mas detalyado yung uh, scouting doon yeah. sa mga bawat kuponan. Kaya pagdating dito sa real game ng NCAA, eh, akala mo kasi same lang sa off-season, pero pagdating na sa game, medyo magugulat ka eh. Iba oh. pala. Iba yung, iba yung, uh, ibaga yung laruan sa real game. Para ito, big to big action. Yukien Andrada with a beautiful find. And Tami Contapay able to score underneath. Tama ka dun rin, no? Pagdating mo dito sa mga rinig mo, minsan, two games lang, good game ka, markado ka agad sa susunod. Yes. Luciano. The spin. Oh, Mintes. And Eman Tagli getting the rebound. San Beda in front. 18 to 17. Ito muna. Yung big-to-big action natin kanina. Yukien Andrada. Look at the passing here. No look! Look away! Finding Contapay inside. And that allows the Red Lions to retake the lead. 18 to 17. Back to the coverage, Judy Cam spotted here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Mula yun sa San Beda, I think from San Beda side, ito from EAC. Ito nyo naman, on a Sunday, watching basketball. And thank you for taking some time out on family day. Gagaling nung uh, uh, floor director natin ha. Oo. Diba? Mahirap mas pata niyan kasi taming nanonood ngayon dito sa Phil Oil. Yeah, duty ka mamaya, may tropa cam tayo at saka fan cam naman. Alright, let's check out the action here. Ito, gitgitan. Tolentino, Kuntapay, getting into it. The point guard versus the center that time around. The uh, situation did not escalate. Tami Kuntapay. Different line up on the floor for Coach Yuri. J.P. Gallego. Sidestep, offhand scoop did not work. Apuno oh, telegraphing the pass. Puno backing down. He's got the advantage. What up? Not going on it. Jomel Puno. What up, And he saves it. It goes the other way, though. Oh, grabe itong uh, effort na kinapakita ni Jomel Puno. First quarter pa lang, pero grabe na yung uh, production na sa kuponan niya. He's around 6'5", 6'6", pero ganyan gumalaw at ganyan explosive tumalon. Uy! Nakagawa ni itong EAC. Ball is in the hands of J.V. Gallego. Tommy thinking about it. Instead, he will go back to J.V. Not a time to work with. Contapay the pick and pop. Back irons it. And Luciano gets it. King Gortiza, he discarded it. Valentino will set the table for EAC. Tolentino. Aguliano. Short stab is good for JP. The first bucket of the game for EAC's main guy and team captain. Nahawa na rin ito si JP Maguliano kay Nat Coseo. Yung ganun na ganun yung mga favorite shot na ito kay Nat Coseo eh. Yung push shot, ano? Oo. Parang tinuruan. Tami Kuntapay! Wow! Ang ganda talaga. Ang ganda talaga panoorin yung mga big man na mayroong dribble at saka mabilis eh. Kasi 
nakukuha nila yung, yung uh, gusto nilang mangyari sa loob. Nakakala mo, ipapasok nila o iahadot na rin pala atake sila. Itong si Dami Contapay, parang tinuruan naman ni Yuki Nandrada, bangsak si Tolentino. Tagli takes it away and raises the other end. The slip for Joshua Tolentino, allowing uh, Tagli to break away on the other end. Naman Tagli, another former Red Cup. Jelo Loristo, who was out for a little bit for EAC. He was injured in the first part of the season. As we take a look at Peter Alfaro, still not suiting up for the Red Lions. I think next game, maglalaro na ulit itong team captain ng San Peda. Ito muna, yung pasa. Papunta dito kay JP Magoliano and then the escape. Wow. wow! Showing us the skills. Itong si Tami Kuntapay. Meron tayong ano ha? Two e yes. EAC alumni mga players. Ano natin yan Martin? Mga franchise ng mga EAC players. <laughs> franchise! <laughs> Correct. Kasi nung last time nag-cover ako, nanood si CD, sabi niya sa akin. Hey, bagitin mo naman ako, shoutout mo ako. Sabi mo, franchise player ako ng uh, EEC. <laughs> si Anu Pere. Oh. Oh, sige. Kamaya, papakita mo natin oh. yan. Okay, Coach Yuri on your screens. Kasama ni Sid. Anu Pere, si Little General. Yes. Balik ba yan? Lance is Monsaya. Kamaya, papakita natin yan. Meantime, it's a two-point lead for San Queda. Half minute remaining. Kung tapay, extra pass. Jomel Puno. Puno ang basa ilalim. Puno. Deep underneath, Loristo will give up the foul. Itong si Jumel Puno, Martin, talagang uh, promising player ito sa San Beda Red Lions. Eh. Kasi kita mo yung kanyang uh, athleticism na oh, yeah. and yung, yung strength niya na talagang uh, wala siyang pakialam. Eh. Mm. Ang gusto lang niya, maglaro lang siya kung ano lang yung role niya sa team, talagang nagagampan niya na maayos. Kita mo pa lang sa tindig na ito ni yes. Jumel Puno. No? Athletic build niya. Eh. Jello Loristo will check out. Replacing him is Jethro Babud. Of course, Loristo, I was mentioning earlier, was injured in the first part of the season. Finally, getting some minutes today. Mm -hmm. Ito transfer yan si Jello from San Sebastian. Man. Okay, so we got sure lang, uh, especially pag galing kang injury, kasi hindi naman pwedeng biglain yan. Eh. Yeah. Of course, yung strength mo rin, yung... yung uh, uh, kailangan din yung papalakasin eh. Hindi naman pwedeng yung isasalang kakagod na dahil ang mangyayari, tendencies dyan, medyo magkakalat ka sa loob ng uh, court kasi siyempre hindi magamay yung, yung uh, laruan. Of timing ka, no? Yes. Bertiza. Oh, nice find. Hindi nga lang. Naitapos yun ni JP. Here's Jomel Puno. Another JP, this time from the other side. Gallego! Will not make it. He missed anyway. At the end of the first 10 minutes of action. It's been an explosive game so far. The Red Lions are ahead. 